Hey, what's going on guys? This is Anthony from MSMD Perceptions and today we're going over the hair light to dark feature in Photolite Pro. That's before and that's after. And it sure did darken up the hair. Photolite Pro is a retouching pack for Adobe Photoshop. It's only $24.99 and it's very simple to use. Each effect creates a mask and an action. So it's non-destructive and it's very simple to use. So the first thing you wanna do is select your pack based on the resolution of the images. I'm retouching high resolution images, so I'm in the 5K pack. Next thing you wanna do, select the feature and hit play. Now just paint it in. Okay, and so you wanna make sure you have your brush selected. Opacity, I like it at 100%. And we're gonna have our white selected to show the effect through the mask. Let's increase our brush size a little bit. Okay. And wow, look at that. Jeez. Okay, I'm not really sure I actually like that. <laughs> it seemed to not only darken it, but it seemed to desaturate it as well. And of course, you only want to paint on the areas that you want affected. If you paint on some other areas, you just hit X on the keyboard or swap around these colors, and it's all non destructive because it's working with masks. Well, let's do the rest of this hair just to see what the effect does. And you can see that the texture is still there. And it's really darkening up this hair. Okay. There we go. Finish the make this up. Now, I'm not going to get all these little strands. I'm just trying to do a quick job just to show you guys what this feature does and how easy it is to use. So I don't really like how much this darkened it up, but there are a couple things we could do. Let's just fix this up right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna change the overall opacity of the mask and there we go. So now it darkened it, but we still have some of the color in there. So now I'm at 48% and let's just toggle this on and off. That's before and that's after. And it sure did darken up the hair. So if I did overexpose it or if I just wanted the hair to be a little darker, this would be very useful. Let's toggle it one more time. This is before and this is after. And what I'm going to do now, I'm gonna put the mask on 100% and I'm just actually going to get rid of this all. So let's hit X on our keyboard, increase the brush size, and I'm just gonna repaint over all of this with the black brush selected so it gets rid of it. So now let's say I want different intensities of this effect in different areas, such as this strand here and this strand here is really light. So we're gonna have our white selected and we're gonna keep, you know what, let's toggle the opacity down to like 70%, let's try that. And now I'm gonna brush just that area. And now let's say we wanted to darken up here a little bit, but just not quite as much. Let's bring the brush down to 20%, well, 17%. And now we just have a different balance and that's just doing a little bit less there. And that helps me find a better balance in there, like I said. And if I want to change the overall opacity, I could still do that and is keeping the same balance. And let's see the before and after with that. Before and after. So thanks for checking out this video. The next video we're gonna be doing is teeth whitening. So if you wanna see the teeth whitening, please be sure to check out my next video. Thanks.